Darren, really interesting story this one. We've got a Magnum uh, Colchester lathe here from 600 UK behind us. Why have you bought this machine recently? Predominantly, the larger end of what we do is also the lower quantity of what we do. So we've always felt that there's a place for manual machinery. You'll find a Herbert 4 over in the corner. I've got a Herbert 2 as well. Because a lot of places we go, they invest, like you have, millions of pounds or hundreds of thousands of pounds in CNC technology. And it's always a big debate, you know, what's the, the latest, the fastest, the greatest. But this is going back to basics, yeah. this type of machine. So there's still a need for this type of machine in, a, in your environment. Oh, without a doubt, without a doubt. You can hop on the manual machine, do a quick job, hop off it. Um, this particular machine has got the biggest diameter to length ratio capacity that we've got. It'll also take the heaviest parts. So there are jobs that we take on that have to go on there or we wouldn't take them on. And there's a story behind the purchase of this as well because you did have a, another machine here which yeah. you, you weren't too happy with and it's fair to say you weren't happy with it. So you spent a lot of time making sure that the purchase that replaced it was, was the right machine. So what are the, the things that, that made you buy this, this Magnum machine? Why, why did it win the day? Realistically, in, in the world of centre lathes at least, Colchester and Harrison are the long-standing granddaddy of all machine tools. I've got a fair amount of Colchester machines here, the 600 group. So when we needed to replace the multi-turn we had, that seemed to be a natural progression. As far as the centre lathe, really it was having some confidence in the brand you were buying. I didn't want to buy Chinese, I've been down that route, and I wanted to know that what I was getting was going to be suitable for what we wanted to do. And because it's fair to say you're doing some pretty testing work here on this machine. What were some of the things that, that again made this machine of choice? Was it its was it its weight? Was it its size? Was it its controls? Was it the um, the company behind it? The name? Um, if you look at the specs on this machine as against the previous. Uh, machine. Whilst I've gone for an 800 swing machine over a 660, they do a Magnum in a 660, the bed's wider, the, uh, the machine is heavier. You look at the tail stop, it's so much bigger and more heavy duty, even down to the, the steadies, everything is a good 30-40% bigger. And what's really interesting as well is it's, it's quite a bit uh, it costs quite a bit more than, than other machines, but in your head, for you, that, that that's it becomes irrelevant because you need a machine that's going to last, correct? Yes. Yeah, the, the previous one was a third of the cost and it lasted, it really lasted four years. We kept it for six. This one, I'm confident, will probably do 30 years. If and this was, this was the first machine of its type in the country, wasn't it? Yeah, and I believe that's still the case. So you bought two machines at the same time. You bought this, this uh, Magnum, then you bought the Alpha 1460XS, which has a turret on it. So the two came together, um, and, and they're quite a good fit together, aren't they, these two machines? Yeah, they, to be honest, it's, uh, sometimes it does operate as a little cell. We'll do some uh, pre-operation on the, the Magnum to save messing around on the Alpha, um, and sometimes vice versa. And the work holding? Have you got uh, the, the chucks on this machine, Pratt Barnard chucks? Yeah, everything's come from 600, full package. Um, and have you any experience in their work holding compared to others as well? Have you found it easier to, easier to use? But we've been using Pratt Barnards as long as we've had 600 machine tools. Um, we don't tend to have any issues with them. They do what they need to do, they run accurate for a good long time. And I think that's the message that's coming across loud and clear here. You wanted a machine that was going to last the, the course, not give you any trouble, uh, give you the capacity which we've got here. Just remind me again, how much is the length? Uh, two metre centres and 800 swing over the bed. 800 swing over the bed. So again, you've got uh, enough scope there to tackle some of the larger work that you're doing. Yeah, indeed. And, um, the weight between centres, I can't even remember, but it's, it's pretty colossal.